you want to announce the beginning of this interview? Welcome to the beginning of this interview. <laughs> that was fantastic, Brenton. <laughs> good job. Um, wow, you could do this. Yeah. For a living. You could. Yeah. Wow, so Welcome good. The, good job. Did you want to have that? Do you want to ask mm-hmm. her to ask <laughs> <you> something? <laughs> <laughs> something you've never asked them before in the months that you spent on set. What do you do when you wake up in the morning and there's no breakfast in your house? Um, I have a driver license now so I can drive to Albertsons, uh, get some cereal and milk because I'm a grown woman. <laughs> <laughs> Great That's question. Awesome. Great answer. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> oh man, I would, not want to, I would not want to be on the roads when you're driving. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little terrifying. <laughs> yeah. you, um, guys, I don't know why you're saying this. Your dad's over there and yeah. he's going, yes. It's yes. Your dad he knows. Okay, yeah. ask my brothers. Am I a good driver? No. <laughs> you lied! Oh, man, you lied! No one. That is so mean, you said... You can't okay. ask your brothers that. Your brothers that's are, not, oh, I have a brother, I know what that is. They ate all the cereal, said. too. That's the reason why you got no breakfast. Exactly, you guys say you have like four bowls. You guys are so adorable in this film together. Was there like a sense of like younger generation and then obviously like Marilyn and Jeff Bridges? Or was it all one big happy family? That was certainly pretty cool, you know. I, I don't think there was like a divide between old and young or anything. I think we all kind of, I didn't, I don't think we even thought of it in that perspective. So you didn't rap with Meryl? Oh, Meryl's a great rapper. <laughs> yeah. She really? She's really good. She can lay down and Really? Yes. Can she really? Yeah. What does she rap about? Oh, um, act, acting, <laughs> award 17 shows. 17 Oscar nominations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of drag rap. <laughs> wow. That was good, yeah. that was good. She's opening for Jay-Z and Beyonce tonight. Is she, she really? Yeah. Is she going to appear tonight? as a hologram? She appears as a hologram yeah, in the film. Yeah, like it does. We'll do the two okay. That would be her, her stage, her stage thing. Um, the film kind of opens. There's like a, you're, the three of you are biking together. Who's really fastest? Cameron or me? Cameron's pretty good on the bike, I have to say. Yeah. Those well, I, I don't think I will. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I was man, great. Those bikes I was great. Like breaking left, right, and center. Oh my, yeah, okay, I was the only one who didn't break. And one time you tried to trip me, and then he ended up falling into a bush. I did. <laughs> I did fall into a bush. It was so funny to trip me, and I was the only one who didn't fall out of these two. <laughs> Nice. Uh, no. It, yeah, no, but it was funny. <laughs> no, but I, it was funny. I remember when your shoelace got caught. My shoelace you got caught in the so gear. <laughs> yeah. Those things were death traps, I'm telling you. Uh, they were yeah. out to get me. They were. Okay, so we have a bunch of random questions for you guys based on the film. A game of sorts. Are you ready? Yes. Best gift you've given or received in your life? Stand up paddleboard. Given or received? I gave it to um, my driver on the last movie I did. Whoa. Yeah. Can I drive you in a film sometime soon? I sure. feel like you give good, good sure. gifts. <laughs> sure, sure. In the beginning of the film, Meryl Streep appears as a hologram. If you could have anyone appear as a hologram right now, right here, who would it be? Abraham Lincoln. Jackson. And Abraham Lincoln. Samuel L. Jackson dresses Abraham Lincoln. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I never met my grandfather, and I have so many questions for him. Sorry, guys, taking it deep. <laughs> 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 take it in there. It yeah, in there. really taking it in there. We get Samuel Jackson, we get that one, and we get your grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> totally random. And <Okay>. Lincoln. <laughs> and Lincoln. Most embarrassing memory that you wish you could erase, either from like a job you did, a first audition, or any Hollywood oh, story. Oh my god. I. <laughs> peed my pants on set once when I was 12 <laughs> and it was really cold and it was during a short film it was like the beginning of my career and um my mom kept telling me she's like no no go to the bathroom I'm like I'll be fine and I was walking up the hill and the whole time walking up the hill I was fine and then as soon as I had to stand and say my line it's like cut I peed in my pants cut everybody <laughs> and everyone just kept laughing and they kept rolling you know when you're so cold that you just pee yeah it was really you're from Canada you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> it freezes let's not go yeah. there okay it's, it's really most cold. embarrassing or memory like this uh, I split my pants <laughs> what? I, was doing, I think I was bending down to mime the sled after the sled memory and I bend down and you just hear this oh, that's embarrassing <laughs> there's a moment like where you freeze oh. and you go uh, split all of my pants. Like, am I, am I getting fat? Like, the costume cheeks gonna kill me? The first time I saw that girl who ended up being my girlfriend, I was drinking a drink, it was water with ice in it, and uh, I saw her and I literally poured the entire thing down the oh. front of my pants, everything. And she looked at me and she laughed and I was like, this is never gonna work out. 
and uh, yeah, I was wrong, but yeah, I could have died in that moment. <laughs> I, see, I think girls don't even think girls think that's sweet, and it's more it's than adorable. Yeah, I think yeah. It's a lack of Just basic <laughs> motor control. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think so it's cute. <laughs> Okay, in the film, your decisions are made for you. Best decision you ever made in your life. It wasn't really my decision, but moving to America really helped. Starting acting, you working on my accent. I don't know, I have so many decisions. This is a really, really hard question. Um, uh, choosing pancakes over French toast this morning. Oh. I think it was a that really solid decision. decision. I was like, should I go with I'm that or should that. I go with his, like, <laughs> my career? Get that as soon as you get some cereal. Yeah. Getting my license. That was a great decision. Was it Sharing good? it with you guys? I don't know if that was a good decision. <laughs> okay, and which color best describes your personality and why? I like hot pink because I'm sassy. No, um, <laughs> I don't, I think blue because that's like a color I wear a lot for my eyes. I wore it like seven times for this audition. You thought I had one shirt. I was using the same shirt for like three weeks. <laughs> I was scared you wouldn't recognize me if I wore something else. <laughs> How many auditions? Um, it was six times. Wow. But I was like, because one time my manager told me, she said, you have to write down everything you wear in an audition in case you get a call back so they look at you the same way. That's the way they liked you. But then I got like five callbacks, so I didn't, I was like, well, they're not going to like me if I don't go in the same thing. It's just drinking it. So I should wear the same blue shirt That's a again. great excuse to go shopping. I have yeah. six callbacks. Yeah. I have to buy six new outfits. No, I wore the same shirt. <laughs> I mean, I washed it. But, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like silver. It does, is that a color? <laughs> it's a metal. You can use a metal. There you go. My favorite color that represents my personality would be teal. It's pretty complicated. Are you a complicated kind of? Yeah. Is that what and it is? And when you look at it, it's kind of confusing, but it's a really nice, vibrant color. Um, but the more you look at it, the more confused. I'm looking too much into this. Maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe I should have just stuck with blue or red or something. You're going, teal, you're going teal. fully deep with it. Teal I is like my it. favorite color. Yeah. I like it. And just last but not least, um, just kind of like a favorite memory taking away, you know, from this film. Um, I love the jam sessions that we had. I love playing that's music with. Yeah, because yeah, that's, that's that was, was so ha it was well, so happy, yeah. you know. Yeah. We're all of us playing music together. I mean, I was singing. I wasn't playing. Sorry. All right. So we need to bring me that guitar. Oh, no, no, girl, I'm not playing. I'll you can take the, us out with a nice little down. jam. Okay, I'll pass the guitar. <laughs> oh. oh no! Sound guy, <laughs> hit it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you can just mime it, and we'll put it in a great. What, what are we playing? What are we doing? Jam session, whatever. Oh. Anything to take us out. It's out of tune. I don't know how you guys know that. Someone tuned it. I don't know who. I didn't know that. I would have never known. <laughs> The Giver. <laughs> it's a great movie. Come see it on his 15th. Brenton and Cameron, Odea 2, Meryl Streep, Jeff Bridges, Tyler Rose is the king.